know what I'm going to do. It is just so hot, and I am just glistening here at the old mill. I hope that I run into some of my friends, but even my hat is wilting. I just don't know. We are at the old mill in North Little Rock, Arkansas. It is a beautiful little oasis in a hot city, which it is right now. And if you come here, you will see a recreation of a beautiful old 1880s water mill, which were plentiful back in the 1800s in Arkansas. The distinction with this one is that it was not built in the 1800s. It was built in the 1900s, but it's created to look like something that was from the 1800s. It is beautiful. The gardens are beautiful. You can hear in the background, you can hear the water. You gotta check it out. It's really great. It was developed in two of the most historic neighborhoods in North Little Rock, Park Hill and the Lakewood Subdivision. He wanted something that would draw residents to this area. The construction started in 1932, but it looks like it was built in the 1800s. It's constructed and it looks like it's all wood and stone, but it's constructed to look like a dilapidated old mill. And what looks like timbers, but that's concrete. More deceptive in this picture is the fact you see the large gnarled ridges, the rustic water wheel, the railings, the floor planks, the scattered branches and logs, and even the mill growth and pulley. The creator of the concrete object, and I'm not going to say his name, I'm just going to say it was D. Rodriguez. He was a Mexican-born sculptor, and he was so secretive about his, the way he made the concrete, he would mix it in the trunk of his car. The mill was 
completed and dedicated on August the 6th, 1933. It's getting closer to being 100 years old. Come in, designed the replica mill to look as if it were built a century earlier in the 1830s. Rodriguez created the concrete details and surrounding objects. Its constructions were fashioned by covering bound rods, wire, or other fragments in layers of concrete. When the concrete was hand sculpted in detail, the best imitate the supposed nature of the object, whether it was toadstools, rock. Marjorie and Marisol. Marisol. Marisol is from the Philippines and she has come over. She's a nurse. We are so happy to have you in our country. Thank you. Uh, all the Philippines is ours too, but being in the States, I think. We really are thrilled to have been into y'all. Marjorie is showing Marisol around Little Rock. That's a job that she has, yes. which is <laughs> so exciting to me that, you know, that you do that. Now, now, I know you that you do that and that we're just happy to have run into you. Yep. So you want to tell us a little something about your job? Which right. Is awesome. So I work for a healthcare recruiter. We recruit nurses from overseas. Uh, once uh, it takes a few years for the like it took her four years to get here. Oh She's an goodness. ICU nurse over at Whoa. Baptist. Yes, and they are desperately needing ICU nurses. Okay? I hope I never see you. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So my uh, my agency, once they bring them over, they go through cultural training, something like a band aid. It's not known as a band aid outside the country because it's a brand. Right. Oh, and then yeah. clinical trials. Make sure they know what they're doing. We have a simulation lab and so on. Driving oh, to help cool. transition. They're driving the U.S. And then my role specifically is to bring them to their new home city, uh, help them with the car purchase, oh. make sure their apartment is livable, shop for housewares, mm -hmm. take them to the meet and greet, show them how to get to their job, as well as show them around the neighborhood and point out points of interest, cool things to do, places to eat. Usually we try to seek it local places to eat and local shopping to support the local businesses. Right, right. Um, you do always want to support local businesses. So that is my job. <laughs> and Marisol, <laughs> why did you want to come here and do what you're doing? Um, at first, uh, it was just a peer pressure because my friends said, oh, okay, do, do it. But then, um, you, want, you want to, because I, uh, um, I live with my family and sometimes you want to have to go out of yourself, go out of your box, and do some adventures. <laughs> well, I just think it's totally awesome. I am so glad we ran into y'all today. And as I say, I hope I never see her in the emergency room. So, welcome. Good luck. I know you don't need good luck. You're going to do a great job. And for her family, do you want to say anything to anybody in the Philippines? <laughs> I just, I think it's great. Yes. So, thank y'all so much. Thank you okay. for for you know chatting with us. Well, I'm we just it. yeah, I'm just glad that we ran into each other, and it's been great. It really awesome. is. Awesome.